Welcome back traders, Johnny here with the Investing for Beginners community and today we are going to talk about the Yield Max Coin Option Income Strategy ETF, ticker symbol C-O-N-Y and commonly known or referred as Kony. Now Kony stock has 120% dividend yield for the year, for the year guys, which means they're going to pay out a 10% dividend yield tomorrow is the ex dividend date we're going to go over that and we're going to see when the payout is the payout's literally this friday so you need to own this company by tonight to be recorded as a shareholder now we're going to go over the charts we're going to go over some news and past dividend payouts you're going to be amazed by this company now this is a company that tracks along with kind of bitcoin in a way and we're going to go over all that but if you find value in this i'd appreciate it if you smash that subscribe button and help us get to 10,000 subscribers because we just passed 5,100 and almost had 5,200 subscribers by the time you watch this video. As you can tell, I'm not at home. I'm in a hotel room right now, still trying to provide you with quality content that is up-to-date news and what's going on in the markets. I also day trade live every morning at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. That's 30 minutes pre-market and 30 minutes during market hours for about an hour a day you can watch me day trade live ask me questions and get my whole thought process on why i buy sell and hold certain companies now let's go ahead and get into the video guys first off we're going to start with uh coney's website this is a yieldmaxetf.com and this is what we're going to be looking at today. Okay, so their distribution rate right now is at 70.95% with a 30-day SEC yield of 373. Well, what does that mean? Basically just means they're beginning to pay out their dividends. Now, this is a company that has not been along for a long time or been around for a long time. And as you can see here, they've had declaration dates as far back as October so far. Now, in October, the ex-dividend date was 10.6%. Record date was 1010 and they paid on 1016. Now look at this. In March last month, their ex dividend date was on 36, record date was on 37, and their payout date was on the 8th. Two days to get paid from this company. Now last month, they paid $1.66 per share, guys, per share on a company that's only valued right now at. $28.74. So now as you can see, I loaded up. I bought 10 shares here. Now it is going down slightly. I'm down about $2 right now, which isn't really that big of a deal because tomorrow or on Friday, I have the potential to make over $30 on 10 shares. That's correct, guys. And we're going to talk about it right now. People are loading up and buying this company I'm going to make sure that I'm sharing my screen. I am. Okay. So now, as you can see here, they paid $1.20 in October, $1 in November, $2.46 per share in December, $2.69 per share in January, $1.07 in February, $1.66 in March. And guys, I want to show you now exactly how much they are paying us so this shows history as well this is from the stockanalyst.com their dividend yield is showing 35 percent which is not very accurate dividends it is accurate at ten dollar payout so far last x dividend date was march 6th monthly paying dividend stock here okay guys we love monthly paying stocks here on the channel this is a little bit more risky obviously anything over like an eight percent dividend yield for the year is risky okay anything under about eight percent for the year is pretty safe but this is a over this is over a hundred percent dividend yield for the year so if you put a thousand dollars in by the end of the year you would have two thousand dollars hypothetically now as you can see here it is showing the ex dividend dates the record dates when you need to be in and own it this is when they record the shareholders and then the pay dates that follow now dollar 66 was a great milestone coming back up to that two dollar mark and as you can see here here's a graph for all those who like graphs um, it's showing that it did go up slightly and it did go down now this new one It's gonna be up here guys at the two dollar and 40 cents level. Let me see if I can find that 
that might be why I oh no right here okay so now this is coming from finance.yahoo.com okay Yahoo Finance Coney right here C O N Y the yield max coin option income strategy ETF ticker symbol C O N Y okay commonly referred to as Coney now they are paying as you can see up here distribution per share distribution rate then they're gonna have the X dividend date record date and payment date okay so if we scroll back down Coney they're gonna pay two dollars and seventy nine cents which is a hundred and nineteen percent distribution rate a three point seven three um, thirty day yield on this and it's going to happen tomorrow. Tomorrow, guys. Today is April 3rd. I will be putting this video out right now after I record it so that way you have the potential to know about this company and potentially buy into this company if you find your reward to risk ratio is there. Now, what is my risk? Well, I'm risking about almost $300 to make about 30 bucks, but this doesn't mean I have to hold it forever. I can get in on four or on today, hold it through four four and four five, and then get paid on the eighth. Now, what is the eighth? The eighth is on Monday. So on Monday, I will get thirty dollars deposited into my Weeble account by simply holding this company for about two days. Okay. Now, I don't normally do this, but I do have a ton of videos on my channel about dividend capturing on other really good companies like Walmart, um, Visa, MasterCard, um, a ton of them. There's a ton of companies that pay dividends. Sometimes they're quarterly and sometimes they're really good where they could pay two, three, four, five dollars per quarter per share by simply holding this company. That's called dividend capturing. And I do have some videos about that. But real briefly, we're going to go over it real quick, okay? So let us go back to Webull here. Okay, we're going to try to make this video short. Now, I should have bought at a lower point this morning knowing that it was going to be going up. I obviously didn't. We did some day trading. And if you missed my live day trading session, subscribe to the channel and click that little bell notification so you know when I go live again. I go live every single morning, Monday through Friday. And I also do recap videos at the end of the day so you can see what I sold and what I what I did now right now TQQQ was our main winner today we made about eleven dollars on our account with a really small position size of about five hundred dollars for that trade Hockugin was also another company we traded but we'll get into that later on our live recap which will be happening around 2 p.m. today now Coney we are down about a dollar 45 but I'm okay with losing a dollar 45 to gain over thirty dollars guys and look at this okay this is why I brought this up this is a new company there is no previous history as of August 15th didn't do anything for August or um, November, uh, September, but then when it came into October, that's when it started paying dividends. Now it looks like you think that it would lose money paying 10% on a $12 share, a dollar 20 out. It didn't. If anything, people started investing. Now, as you can see here in November, people started catching wind of this, and you could not only have made 10% each one of these months, but you could have rode this company up almost 100% while still collecting dividends. So now, if you would have bought this company in October, you would have made 100% in appreciation value, and you would have made 10, 20, 30% in Dividends, you would have made 130% on a $1,000 investment. That would be 130, no, that would be $1,300. You would have not only doubled your $1,000, but you would have got even another $300 on top of that. You invested 1,000, and now you're walking away with $2,300. My only regret is not buying into this company sooner. Now, some people are like, well, look at this massive dip. Doesn't mean you have to hold or even buy this. Now, this dividend did hurt slightly with the company. It paid out $2.69, and I guess it noticed it was a little bit too much to pay out with recent um, investors, tons of people coming in, a lot of shareholders. So it did go down. It even went down, uh, and it went down for uh, January. Now, moving forward, 
another opportunity to buy at $16. You could have bought here and you could have rolled it up for another 74% profit, which is just fantastic, guys. 74% profit on top of 10, 20%, that's another 100% gain. So now you're saying, well, that $2,600 you had here, you would have took it out, reinvested it here, and made another 100% on $2,600, which you would walk away with, what? 500 or $5,000. You would now have $5,000 in your account in less than 152 days, which is about five to six months. Not too bad, right? Okay, now opportunities are coming again. This dividend did not hurt the company at all when it paid it out. It just went up. This dividend did not hurt the company either. It just continued to go up. Now you can say there was a slight pullback here after this dividend in March. But that just gives us another buy opportunity. Now, is that gonna happen again? Potentially. Oh, I could potentially lose out on 10%, which is the 10% that we're gonna make. That usually is what happens. You'll, you'll get 10% in dividends and the stock price will go down 10%. But if it can recover, if it can recover, then that just solidifies the fact that this is something that can pay continuously to its shareholders while maintaining that aggressive appreciation moving forward. So if it does come down to $25, I may buy some more to ride that wave up to some new highs of about 30%, making 30% on a, you know, maybe a month or two swing trade and making 10% every single month as I hold it for a maximum amount of profits. Now guys, 30% is a huge, huge gain on a $1,000 account on this investing channel. On my personal goal is to make 40% a month. Now making 40% a month, I'm extremely comfortable with that. And I'm able to grow my account and double my account size within a 10 week period. Now there's 52 weeks in a year. So that's five times my growth over a year period. If you have a $10,000 account, you can five exit to 50,000, but it's actually a little bit more than that because 10,000 doubled to 20, 20,000 doubled to 40, 40,000 doubles to 80, 80,000 doubles to 160, and 160 doubles to $320,000. So if you know how to play your cards right, and know how to invest and find these companies, then you too can double your account size. Now, most traders, investors, and people alike aim for about, I mean, even 10% a year is incredible, okay? But if you can make 10% a month, or even 10% a week, or even 10% in a single day, you are well on your way and way past the um, peers and way past other people that trade. Now, I hope you found this valuable. It was a very short video, and I want to make sure to keep it short because I have another live stream coming up at around um, 2 p.m., which is in like 30 minutes. So I'm going to get this video out, and I'll see you guys at that 2 p.m. live stream. Subscribe to the channel if you find value, and don't forget, let's end that year on a green note. And guys, make sure you have goals too. If you don't have goals or a reason to trade and make money, then you definitely are probably not going to be successful. Have a goal. What's my new goal this year? Well, I already bought that Dodge Challenger. So beautiful a few years ago. Now I'm working on growing my account even more and potentially even buying a Corvette. Yeah, I said it guys, a Corvette. And Corvettes are not cheap. They're around $50,000 plus dollars and uh, a lot of upkeep maintenance cost as well as insurance. So I'm, I'm looking really excited to getting my first Corvette and uh, this is exactly how I'm gonna do it through day trading and finding these positions. So thank you, hope you guys enjoyed. We'll see you guys in the next one, out.